coming to you live from Pasadena, where an early morning fire claims yet another church. We have the details coming your way. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. A raging fire destroys a church of Latter-day Saints in Pasadena this morning. Firefighters continue to hose down the remains. Our Fernando Garcia is live in Pasadena with this report. Good morning, everyone. We're coming to you live from Pasadena, where an early morning fire has claimed a church here. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormon Church of Pasadena, a call went out about 3.20 a.m., and when firefighters got here to the scene, the church was fully engulfed. Pasadena firefighters fight a blaze as members of the Mormon church watch in horror. It's just heartbreaking. I'm just heartbroken about it. I can't imagine that something was intentionally set. I hope it wasn't electrical. The three alarm fire brings out all of Pasadena's volunteer firefighters. The blaze fighting team was having problems with the water pressure from the onset. We did have some water pressure problem. We never run out of water, but we had to a proper uh, trouble with a proper amount and I, they, I've just heard a report that they have uh, manipulating some valves and stuff. got us a little more pressure out here. A new family history center had been built behind the church now valuable records have been lost. It has to all be replaced we have what we call a family history library in the back end of the building which is uh, contains records of uh, many, many people, has computers, that kind of thing, and uh, that's gone. Firefighters have placed a high-power fan in the doorway of the church there and have gone inside to fight the fire from that angle. We are being told at this point no one, fortunately, has been hurt, but the church is a total loss, and it's going to be a long rebuilding process. We're live in Pasadena. I'm Fernando Garcia. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints about 3.20 this morning. Reporter Anna Devlantis is at the scene and joins us now with the details. Anna. Well, Darren M. Ford, there is some indication this morning that this fire was intentionally set. Arson investigators are still on the scene trying to determine the exact cause of the blaze. Let's take a look at it this morning. It's nearly four hours after it began, and you can see it's still smoldering. There are some visible flames. Firefighters are really just waiting for this to burn itself out at this point. Now, church leaders say this fire is particularly suspicious because just a few days ago, their church was targeted by vandals. It's devastating. It's devastating. Carol Collier is overcome with emotion. She spent two decades building a genealogy library at the church that's helped hundreds locate their family members. Her efforts and her church are now destroyed by flames. I just feel part of my life. It's just being wiped out all my whole life. The fire broke out at about 3.15 this morning. Flames raged on for hours as Pasadena firefighters worked to control the blaze. Church leaders believe the fire was intentionally set. Their parish was a target of vandalism just a few days ago when someone shot out a glass door. Members say someone didn't like the church. Well, I know it was an act of vandalism. We know that for sure. Because when, when the other brother got here, before I got the phone call, he said there was a bucket sitting right in front of the doors. Now the Pasadena Arson Investigation Team explores those suspicions. They say the church was locked at about 9.30 last night. Six hours later, the fire quickly escalated into a catastrophe. It's estimated that about 1,300 people use this church for services and activities every week. You can see the fire has caused very serious damage to the church. Not much will be able to be salvaged. But there's already talk out here about rebuilding. Church members out here I've talked to say, even if it takes a few years, they're going to bring this church back to what it used to look like. Reporting live from Pasadena, Anna Devlantis. Now back to you, Darian and Ford. All right, thank you very much. ABRC TV, this is a News 2 Houston update. A raging fire destroys a Pasadena church. Firefighters got the blaze under control just over an hour ago. Good morning, I'm Dominique Soxa. And I'm Bob Nicholas. That fire is at the Church of Latter-day Saints where Fernando Garcia is standing by with a live report. Good morning, everyone. We are coming to you live from Yellowstone Drive in Pasadena, where 
An early morning fire has claimed another church. Pasadena volunteer firefighters continue to pour water on the Mormon church. Earlier, flames shot out through the church's double roof. A temporary loss of water pressure might have hampered the fight. At first, it looked as if the church would be saved, but at this hour, the church is a total loss. The cause of the fire has yet to be determined. The preliminary investigation has begun. The fire marshal is bringing in special equipment to investigate a few suspicious items here, but the fire has not been categorized as suspicious at this hour. No one has been seriously hurt, although a firefighter has twisted his ankle and they are putting fi um, I'm sorry, ice on it in order to bring down the swelling. And once again, the church is a total loss. We're live in Pasadena. I'm Fernando Garcia. Flames engulfed the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints just after 3 o'clock. Reporter Anna Devlantis is at the scene, and she joins us now with details. Anna? Well, Darian and Ford, right now, firefighters are still working to extinguish the fire. Let's take a look at it. It began about four hours ago, and you can see there's, it's still smoldering. Firefighters are still extinguishing some of the hot spots. Now, it's estimated that about 1,300 people use this church every week. And as you can imagine, there were some tears out here this morning. It's devastating. It's devastating. Carol Collier is overcome with emotion. She spent two decades building a genealogy library at the church that's helped hundreds locate their family members. Her efforts and her church are now destroyed by flames. I do feel part of my life. It's just being wiped out all my hard work. The fire broke out at about 3.15 this morning. Flames raged on for hours as Pasadena firefighters worked to control the blaze. Church leaders believe the fire was intentionally set. Their parish was a target of vandalism just a few days ago when someone shot out a glass door. Members say someone didn't like the church. Well, I know it was an act of vandalism. We know that for sure. Because when the other brother got here, before I got the phone call, he said there was a bucket sitting right in front of the doors. Now the Pasadena Arson Investigation Team explores those suspicions. They say the church was locked at about 9.30 last night. Six hours later, the fire quickly escalated into a catastrophe. You can see there is substantial damage to the church. It's pretty well gutted, and church members know not a lot is going to be salvageable out here. But despite the pain they're going through today, there's already talk out here about rebuilding. We're live in Pasadena. Anna DeVlantis. Now back to you, Darian and Ford. All right, thank you very much, Anna. This is a News 2 Houston update. An early morning fire destroys the Pasadena church. The building is a total loss. Good morning, everyone. I'm Bob Nicholas. And I'm Dominique Soxa. Now, that fire destroyed the Church of Latter-day Saints, where Fernando Garcia is standing by with this live report. Good morning, everyone. We are coming to you live from Yellowstone Drive in Pasadena, where Pasadena volunteer firefighters continue to pour water on the Mormon church here earlier Flames shot out through the church's double roof. A temporary loss of water pressure might have hampered the fight. At first, it looked as if the church would be saved, but at this hour, the church is a total loss. The cause of the fire has yet to be determined. The preliminary investigation has begun, though. The fire marshal is bringing in equipment to investigate a few suspicious items here, but the fire has not been categorized as suspicious. No one's been seriously hurt, although one firefighter twisted his ankle and they were putting ice on it to bring down the swelling. Now, some of the church members have been able to salvage a few computers and filing cabinets, but as you can see behind me, the church is a total loss at this hour. We're live in Pasadena. I'm Fernando. Houston at noon. Another major fire breaks out, this time in a Pasadena church. Good afternoon. Area firefighters are still battling the heat and the flames. This morning, worshipers watched helplessly as their church burned to the ground. News to Houston's Fernando Garcia is live in Pasadena with the latest. Bob, church members say their church was targeted three days ago when someone shot through one of the doors. Arson investigators say it is still too early to tell if the fire was deliberate or an accident. Pasadena firefighters sift through the ruins targeting hot spots while arson investigators wait for the structure to cool. A bucket has been found near the area where the fire started. It could provide clues to the fire's origin. That is uh, something that the fire marshal's office will have to answer. Uh, the fire marshal's office, they are investigating. 
Fire investigators will not comment. It took several hours to extinguish the blaze. At one point, low water pressure added to the challenge of fighting the blaze. I don't believe the water pressure really caused me that many problems. Uh, the problems that I had was due to the construction of this building. It was a, a dual roof building. Meanwhile, church members are moving forward. A handful of hymnals are saved. A couple of computers and filing cabinets are salvaged from the ashes. Bravely, members of the congregation face a new day looking towards the future. It hasn't broken our spirit at all, and we're sure that everything will be okay, and that everything for the future looks bright like it always has. Our church will never be gone. I mean, the building is gone, but uh, we're the people that make our church. We're still here. Arson investigators are now able to go inside the structure. It could be as early as Friday afternoon before investigators can find answers among the ruins. We're live in Pasadena. I'm Panada Garcia. This morning. An early morning fire gutted the structure, and arson investigators are probing the cause of the blaze. Standing by with the latest from the fire scene are Anna DeVlantis. Anna? And Darian and Ford representatives from the fire marshal's department are now on the scene. They'll be here for another couple of hours trying to figure out what caused this fire. And while officials look into events that have passed, church members are looking to the future. It's devastating. It's devastating. Early this morning, church members stood by and watched their parish burn. What took two decades to build was being undone by flames within a matter of hours. Uh, I just feel part of my life is just being wiped out all my whole life. The fire broke out at about 3 o'clock this morning. Church leaders are calling the fire suspicious. They say just a few days ago their church was vandalized, and they believe the church may have been the target of an arsonist. Well, I know it was an act of vandalism. We know that for sure. Because when, when the other brother got here, before I got the phone call, he said there was a bucket sitting right in front of the doors. But arson investigators say it's just too soon to tell what caused the fire. Church members say their cause now is to rebuild. I've been in this building all my life. Since I was little, I grew up in this church, so it's awful. But are you going to re help rebuild it? Yes, I'm going to do anything I can. Firefighters search through the rubble that remains of the church, finding a few salvageable items, like these framed icons. Parishioners were quick to clean them off. Their thoughts are on the future. I was here when they built it. Well, I'll be here when they build it again. Now, there's some good news for church leaders this afternoon. Some of the financial and office records were able to be salvaged. Sadly, though, one of the most important offices out here was hit the hardest. The genealogy department, which allows people in this community to come here and locate family members anywhere in the United States. It's feared that those records may have been destroyed in the fire. Reporting live from Pasadena, Anna DeVlante. The, the Houston area has been plagued by nearly daily fires. A one this morning destroyed a Pasadena Mormon church and an entire congregation's dreams. News to Houston's Fernando Garcia has the story. Flames are out and now the investigation begins. Firefighters cool the remains of the Pasadena Mormon church so that arson investigators can go in and determine what caused the destructive morning fire. But progress at this point is being slowed. We're being hampered somewhat with the unstable conditions inside. And uh, so we're having to take it awfully slow in a piece at a time. Parishioners are able to salvage a few water-soaked computers and files. Earlier this week, someone fired a gun at the church, hitting the door. This morning, parishioners questioned a bucket found in the area where the fire started. The experts have no answers yet. At this time, we haven't been able to say yay or nay on the bucket, so it's all still under investigation. It could be as early as Friday afternoon before investigators find answers among the ruins. In Pasadena, Fernando Garcia, News 2 Houston. All church activities will be moved to other Mormon churches in the community. A Mormon congregation in Pasadena is praying for answers after a fire destroyed their church. This afternoon, fire marshals went through the ruins of the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints. An early morning multi-alarm fire leveled the building. Fire investigators are still searching for the cause and the source of the blaze, but the church bishop fears it may have been arson, alluding to recent acts of heresy.